The Samsung Edge display was cool, but something much cooler and exciting could be coming very soon. Samsung has been working on foldable displays for a number of years, and the Korean giant might finally be ready to showcase its first completely flexible smartphone in 2018. This is a preview for the first foldable phone from Samsung, that is, the Samsung Galaxy X. Foldable phones are about to hit the market. It's only a matter of time, and it's looking increasingly like Samsung could be the first company to commercially launch one, possibly as soon as this year. We may even know what it's called, with the mysterious Samsung Galaxy X being the subject of several bendable leaks, foldable patents, and flexible rumors. But whether the Galaxy X marks the spot or not, we're clearly entering a foldable future. So, what is a foldable phone? A foldable phone is exactly as it sounds, one that either folds inward, like a clamshell phone, or, outward, and reveals a tablet-like device, when stretched out. This is possible with the use of a bendable, rather than flexible, OLED panel. Samsung, Lenovo and LG, have each showed off, bendable displays and devices at various industry events, and have registered many patents for the technology. Previously called Project Valley, Samsung's technology has become known as the Samsung Galaxy X. Bloomberg says, the company plans to announce a foldable phone under its Note brand, in 2018. According to the Korean Herald, the foldable device was revealed to industry leaders, at a behind closed doors at January's 2018, trade show, which also included a launch schedule for the handset. This could be the Galaxy Note X, a fierce competitor to the newly announced iPhone X. The paper claims, two models were shown, one inward folding and the other, outward folding phone. The latter is described as a more advanced, next generation technology, although it's the inward folding Galaxy X, that is expected to be first adopted by Samsung. On November 9, 2017, Sam Mobile, released, a whole host of images, that appeared to show, the Galaxy X. A patent application reveals a number of renders and illustrates the smartphone's hinge, from a number of angles. Patents filed by Samsung have been the only real clues as to the Galaxy X's eventual design, that we have so far. A previous patent from Samsung Display was registered with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, at the end of September 2016. The included diagrams show a clamshell-like device that resembles a makeup compact, folding out into a traditional rectangular smartphone shape. US-based light polymers launched a new circular polarizer for OLED displays based on its lyotropic liquid crystal technology. The new polarizer is said to be the world's thinnest polarizer at only 45 micrometers. These lyotropic liquid crystals are water-based and can be coated using industry standard coating equipment at nearly room temperatures. This enables the company to produce these displays at a much lower cost compared to the other alternatives. The Galaxy X is rumored to have a 7.3-inch 4K OLED display that folds inside. Early reports suggested that the device might also come with a stylus that could line up with comments made by head of Samsung's mobile division, saying the phone would part of the Note lineup, rather than its own line. He stated, Samsung has the foldable smartphone in its roadmap for the Note series, and is currently working to solve a series of hurdles before unveiling it, next year. Speculation abounds that Samsung will make the Galaxy X, a high-end device, that could ultimately run on a powerful processor, like the upcoming Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chip, but Samsung hasn't confirmed that. A more recent report says that, the Galaxy S9 will get this processor first. Beyond that, we haven't heard about camera quality yet, nor has anyone confirmed whether this foldable phone would incorporate the fingerprint, iris and face scanning features, found on current Samsung flagships. 
if the reports are true, then the Galaxy Note 9 will be the first phone in Samsung's stable to feature a fingerprint sensor embedded into the screen. It's safe to assume that this capability would find its way to the Galaxy X as well. Although, more recent news comes direct from Samsung's mobile head and is a little better, as he claimed, the company was aiming for a 2018 launch later this year, assuming it could overcome certain unspecified problems. According to industry sources speaking to ET News, Samsung plans to begin manufacturing its new folding OLED panels in September and ready to fire up the Galaxy X production line in November. Flexible OLED technology is still in its infancy, and as a result, the all-new Galaxy handset is likely to be more expensive than both Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and upcoming Galaxy S9. Since the Galaxy Note 8 is priced at around $950, the Galaxy X could easily be more expensive than the iPhone X's eye-watering $1,200 price tag. So, what do you think of Samsung's foldable phone design? Would you buy it or not? Let us know down in the comments. Thank you for watching this video, please do hit the like button, if you, liked it, and feel free to share this video with your friends. For more cool stuff like this, S-Link.